250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Port, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, don't forget to check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Spotify, Spotify, baby, all of that good stuff is in that description. Ooh, we got another one, y'all. We got another one. We got another one. I put my glasses on for this. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill got his ass yanked out the car. Can y'all believe that? Can y'all believe that? Oh, we got to do some research. We got to do some research. Tyreek Hill, the nigga with all them damn babies. Acting a fool out there. Let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Hope y'all doing okay. You know how we rolling over here. Let's play the video and see what's going on with Tyreek and the police. Let's look at this mess. Yeah. <sighs> Look, look, look. Get out of the car. 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 Get out of the car right now. We're not playing this game. Get out. 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 I'm getting up, bro. God, man. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I'm getting you understand? I'm getting up. You understand? You don't even speak you. English. I'm what we tell you. I'm getting You're up. confused. I'm getting up, bro. Too late. Too late. Too late. All right, take me there, bro. Do what you got to do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good, bro. It is good. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. Give me them boots. And you can stop crying. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Stop moving. Good. Man. Man. I wonder like you crazy. Look, he just said that he had surgery on his knee. Tyreek Hill just told the cops he just had surgery on his knee. So South Florida's police union says that the football star was handcuffed and placed face down during a traffic stop due to his lack of immediate cooperation. However, Hill insists he was respectful throughout the incident. The situation which occurred outside the Dolphins' home stadium resulted in one officer being placed on administrative leave pending an internal investigation. Hill's attorney described the officer's actions as excessive. Uh, it is hard to watch. A reminder, by the way, of how different our world is now that we have body camera footage. Because mm -hmm. before that, it would just be the officer's words against him. Everybody would have their story. Now we can actually watch what happened. And it's hard for most people to watch that and not think the officers made a step yeah. step 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 too far uh in in what happened there it reminds me of uh, same but different i know scotty scheffler and that whole incident and it was only until you saw the body cam footage that it made more sense of, right of what happened yeah exactly there and and so Ty tyreek hill says he likes cops he wants to one day uh he was just telling them do what you got to do in that he hopes that this is a learning experience he said that you know, the way I was treated, what if I wasn't Tyreek Hill uh, in terms of what's happened afterwards? And Ooh. so, although he did mock it yesterday after he scored a touchdown, well, he, saw, had, go on to he win. had his teammate pretend to do yeah. this as a touchdown dance and all that. So, <laughs> they beat the uh, Jaguars 20 to 17.
insane. Yeah, he had an 80 yard touchdown reception. All right. All right, and we're gonna look at that. Uh, let's look at this uh, touchdown celebration. What he's talking about, mocking it. Zone 28 goes back first and 10 to a ton of armor. Instead, the block and he's going deep. He's caught here. Look, look, look. For Rice driving 36. Oh, he's a boost. Look, look, look. 80 yard touchdown. Arrested. Arrested. Get him. Oh. Let's show that again. Look, look, look. The rest of touchdown. Hands behind your back, bro. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones News TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. It's obvious that these cops, I don't know if they're trying to make a name for them. It's obvious that they racist. It's obvious that they're deranged. It's obvious that these people are animals. Word on the street, Tyree did the right thing. He was rolling down his window, but they wanted him to roll down the window all the way. See, these cops, you can just tell by body language that these cops are ready to put boots in Tyreek Hill's ass. They were ready to do something nasty to this young man. They're ready to do something dirty to Tyreek Hill. And everybody can see, I mean, everybody with a pair of eyes can see that these uh, animals out there, Outside the Dolphin Stadium, you can just these these officers are crazy. And like the news broadcaster brought up, there was a time there were no body cam. Just imagine if these animals are able to do it in front of everybody with body cams. Can you imagine what was really going on before the era of body cams? Niggas, that's what black people have been talking about for years: the brutality, brutality. You know what they told black people? Shut your ass up with that complaining. Police brutality, shut your ass up. Stop complaining. Oh, our living conditions are deplorable. Pull yourself up by the bootstrap. Stop complaining. Well, the system is on our ass and they keep trying to lock us up. We got broken homes. We need help. Shut your bitch ass up. Shut it up. Shut it up. Meanwhile, they're giving aid and resources to everybody else here in America and around the world. This is absolutely crazy how these people just think they could just handle Americans like this. It's crazy. He's taking administrative leave, so which means he'll be back on the force. This officer will be back on the force. It's unfortunate that he's not, uh, you know, administrative leave. Now, I don't think he's getting paid, but, I mean, if you let him back on the force, what's going to stop him from doing this again? That's the question. If you guys allow him to keep his job, What's the incentive to not do this to black folk again or anybody? They are hot tempered. They feel they're egotistical. You can see the way you, when we tell you what to do, you do it. And they can barely speak English. How in the hell somebody that can barely speak English can do us dirty like this? Black cops do black folk dirty. Latino cops, everybody putting hands and feet on black people. Damn. What y'all think about this? What y'all think about this? Y'all flood my comments. 250 capital G. I'm gone.